This is a slice of a moon meteorite. You can see lighter portions and somewhat darker portions and some angular pieces. So this is actually called a breccia, it means that it's a mixture, broken up mixture of different rock types. It came from um, the broken up surface of the moon as a result of many, many impacts and then compacted together. And then of course the large impact ejected it into space and eventually it made its way to the Earth as a meteorite. We can learn a lot about the history of the moon from studying rocks like this one. We can pick out individual fragments of what makes up this rock and we can measure the ages of those fragments and learn something about when the moon formed and when it was impacted. So basically the history of bombardment on the moon. A lot of these breccia rocks, the impact melt, the molten parts that were formed as a result of impact are about 3.9, 3.8 billion years old. This is one of my favorite meteorites in the collection, actually. So this is a, a meteorite that came from the planet Mars. It's a basaltic rock. It solidified from a lava on the surface of Mars and was ejected from that planet as a result of a large impact on the surface of Mars. It is about 600 million years old. It tells us that Mars was geologically active until very recently, until a few hundred million years ago. The black rind that you see, that's called a fusion crust. And that's what happened when it was falling through the Earth's atmosphere and the outside of it got very, very hot and ablated away and formed this glassy rind on the outside. If you can imagine energy involved in the formation of Meteor Crater in northern Arizona, that created a crater that's about a mile wide. An impact about that size would be required to toss out fragments of Mars into space. The probability of getting lunar meteorites is actually a lot higher than getting Mars meteorites because the moon is closer, it's a smaller body. Things that get ejected from the surface of the moon by impacts, they'll eventually either fall back on the moon or they'll, or they'll fall back on the surface of the Earth. For Mars, it's a little bit harder because Mars is, Mars is a larger body. We have rocks in our collections that we believe are from Mars. And the, the reason why we think these are from Mars, by the way, is because they contain trapped gases inside that have the exact same composition as the Martian atmosphere. It's the most fantastic thing in the world to be able to hold a little piece of another planet in your hand. I mean, you know, for me, this is vicariously, I'm being a geologist on, on Mars when I study these rocks in my laboratory. Decades after I've, I've finished with my PhD, I'm still excited about studying these rocks.